Hello, I am already excited because in this video, we want to answer a very interesting question. And the question is, can parents who are both resource positive, I mean, the father is resource positive and the mother is also resource positive, can they give birth to a baby who is resource negative? The answer is, the answer is yes. They can give birth to a baby who is resource negative. How? Then you have to watch this video to the end. All of us who are just joining body just for the first time i am sister Ozo augusta i am a sister of Senbi. i am also a nurse and midwife in this edition on body we to answer that question if parents who are both resource positive can give birth to a resource negative baby do not go away we'll be right back welcome back now for us to understand this fact, let us not forget that resource factor are protein that are present on the surface of the red cells and they, they are genetically materials that is transmitted by both parents. It means that the father has to give a copy of his factor, the mother has to also give a copy of her factor. These two copies of factor make up the genetic material for the baby. And whether resus factor is present on the red cell of an individual, we say that that person has a positive res resus factor. And if resus factor is not present, we say that that individual does not have a resus factor. So we say the individual has a negative resus factor. So in this video, to answer this question, we shall be using the Punet square to answer our question. The Punet square is a square that is designed to tell us how resus factor works. Now, for resource factor, we have the positive resource factor and the resor negative resource factor, which I've explained that if resource factor is present in an individual, the resource factor is, is positive. But if it is not present, then that resource factor is said to be negative. Now, let us look at the resource factor. We have said that in the individual's blood cells, that's in the red cells, resource factor are proteins that are present on the surface of the red cells. So if a resource factor is present, we say that the, the, that individual resource factor is positive. But if a resource factor is not present, we say that that individual's resource factor is negative. Now, for a positive res resource factor that is present, we, we express it as the capital letter D. And when it is expressed as the capital letter D, it is known as homozygous, homo meaning same. So the capital letter D does represent a, a resource factor that is present and it is in the capital letter D and it is positive. Then heterozygous too for a, for a resource factor that is present, but the, since that it is heterozygous means that they are not the same. So it's capital letter D and small letter D. This is also positive, but it is heterozygous because it is capital letter D and small letter D. Then homozygous now for a resource factor that is absent for two small letters. This is also known as homozygous, but it is negative. So all these are used to express whether resource factor is present or whether resource factor is not present. That it is absent. If it is present, we use capital letter D and small letter D. The two copies. Remember that genetic materials are transmitted in copies. The father has to give a copy and the mother too has to give a copy. And if it is not present, it means that the mother never gave a copy, the father never gave a copy. It is represented as small letter D. This is also known as homozygous, but it is expressed in the negative sense. So an individual who is having a positive resource factor, you can write it in this way or in this form. Then an individual who has a negative resource factor, it can be expressed in this form. We have known that resource factor a positive resource factor is of two types, which is the homozygous, that is the, the one that has two capital letters, and heterozygous, the, the, the resource factor that is positive, that has a small letter, a capital letter, and a small letter. Now, for, for, a, for parents who are both resource positive to give birth to a resource negative, it means that such parents would be, they will have two resource factors that are positive but they are in the heterozygous form as we had it on the board. You can see that the father has the capital letter and the small letter, and the mother also has the capital letter and the small letter. This is the only possibility that can make parents who are resource factor positive to give birth to a child who is resource negative. For couples who have the, the homozygous factor rather, 
the father has a mozygous factor and the mother also has a mozygous factor. It means that they are going to give birth to 100% homozygous factor. There, is, there isn't going to be any heterozygous factor. So they are going to give birth to children who all have the positive factor. Another possibility is that if one of the couple has the heterozygous factor but they are all positive, they are still all going to give birth to children who, are, who have the positive factor but it's going to be in the homozygous and heterozygous form. So they are going to give birth to children who have 50%, they have 50% chance of giving birth to homozygous factor and they also have 50% chance of giving to birth to children who have the heterozygous factor. We have looked at the fact that for a couple to be able to give birth to a child, couples who are resource positive, to be able to give birth to a child who is resource negative, it means that such couples resource factor are in the heterozygous state, meaning that it, they are, they are, they are, the factor is capital letter D and small letter D, such that when it combines, there will be a 25% chance of them giving birth to a child who is in the negative factor with the two small letter D, D. So this would enable, if these couples are having the heterozygous factor, the father has the heterozygous factor, the mother has the heterozygous factor, this is the only time you can give birth to a child who is resource negative. Now, let us look at the possibility. If a mother or couples who are resource positive, remember that we have said that uh, the resource positive factor are of two types. You have the homozygous factor and you have the heterozygous factor. If there are two hetero homozygous factors combined, that is the father has the homozygous factor and the mother has the homozygous factor, there is no possibility of giving birth to a child who is resource negative. But if the mother has the homozygous factor and the father has the heterozygous factor, there is possibility of giving birth to all positive baby. But if the mother has the heterozygous factor, which is the capital letter D and small letter D, and the mother has capital letter D and small letter D, the father also has capital letter D and small letter D, there is every possibility of giving birth to a negative factor. Let us see how it goes. The heterozygous factor with the capital letter D combines with another factor with capital letter D. Then we give birth to, to a child who has an homozygous factor, and this is a five percent chance of giving birth to that of, to that child. Then, if the homozygous factor, the, the heterozygous factor, capital letter D combines with a, a small letter, there's possibility of giving birth to a child that is positive, but it is going to be in the heterozygous factor. That possibility also goes for if this factor here combines with this factor here, the factor of the mother here combines with the factor of the father here, there's every possibility of giving birth to a positive, but it's going to be a heterozygous factor. Then if the small letter combines with the small letter here, these two factors combine, they're going to give birth to a child that is having a negative factor, which is in the two small letter. And this 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 is the 25% chance. So if a if couples who are both heterozygous, who have both heterozygous factors and positive, if they get married, they have a 25% chance of giving birth to a child who is negative, who has a, a, a negative resource factor. So, like I said before, the answer is yes. Couples who are positive, but they are having the heterozygous factor, have the chance of giving birth to a baby who is negative with the homozygous factor. I hope you now know that resource positive parents can give birth to a resource negative baby. In case you are in doubt of your child thinking because you are resource positive, your wife is resource positive and the husband is resource positive, that baby who is having a resource negative factor can't be your baby. That, baby, that child is your child. You need to go for a more elaborate lab test to discover the, whether your, the, the posi your positive blood factors are in the homozygous factor or in the heterozygous factor. I hope you have found this video beneficial. For those of you asking whether it is possible, I hope you now know that it is possible that positive parents can give birth to a child who is resource negative. Resource positive parents can give birth to a child who is resource negative. I am still Sister Ozo Augusta and this is still Body Gist. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Thanks for always following us on Body Gist. Keep following us on Body Gist. Why we keep giving you healthy gist?